Now, Nolan, earlier we were talking about the the perils of taking your money out of the market entirely and just having it in cash. And, you know, that is a common thing, as, as we've mentioned many times here on the show, people doing that just to have control. If you're nervous about the stock market and you do have some money parked in cash, I mean, you're not alone. A new Bank of America survey shows their customers are holding more cash than it's seen in over 20 years. So here's the question. Where is that cash and what kind of rate are you getting for it? Are there opportunities for people, uh, for people if they want the safety and liquidity of cash, but they want a better rate than what they're getting at the bank? I think there definitely are a lot of options. And if you look at the numbers, it is pretty staggering That's uh, what the numbers are. That survey, it shows that cash as a percentage of portfolio, it stands at 6.1%. It's a 21-year high. Uh, that's compared to the long-term average of about 48 and really, a lot of people think that the bottom may be in for the market. Maybe mm-hmm. the next move is going to be figuring out how to deploy that cash with uh, the markets being under stress. And, you know, that might fuel a rally in the future. And obviously, with the market, uh, nobody knows. And, you know, where I should put my cash money is a valid question, I think, for a lot of folks that are listening out there, whether you want to go on the offense or still stay defensive with money, I think there's better places that you could go. When you look at the the traditional cash rate uh, at your bank or most uh, portfolio accounts, it's still pretty low. But you know what? A couple of ideas are here's five great ideas for you. So number one, pay attention to what is called the money market rate. Uh, what we work with is if I was looking at uh, say the Schwab money market rate, you know, as of the beginning of November here, the Schwab money market rate is nearly three percent right now. And I can't remember, it's been quite a few years, though, that you've seen a money market rate be as high as it is now. So a lot of companies, they'll allow you to just park their money in cash, and they won't pay you much unless you ask about it. So check out what the money market rates are that are out there. The next one, this is going to sound a little weird, but it's a strategy that I've been using for more than a decade, is what is called liquid life insurance. So what liquid life insurance works really well for retirees is, it allows them to be in a position that has the opportunity where they could get a lot higher growth potential than what they can get with cash at the bank, yet still be able to be in a position that's protected against market losses. Mm-hmm. And in addition to that, you know, one of the biggest risks, I think, for a retiree is having an unexpected or unplanned for a healthcare crisis. And that could be things like a terminal illness. It could be a chronic illness. It could be a critical illness. It could be things like what we think about when we think of mom or dad or grandma and grandpa ending up in a nursing home. And the policies that we set up for our clients uh, will include those type of benefits. So if your money is just set and it grows, it's liquid. So if you want to pull it out after a certain amount of time, you can have your deposit plus whatever interest that it earns. Uh, If you don't need it, the money can pass on in the form of life insurance, which is paid out income tax-free, probate cash-free, if you name a beneficiary correct, or heaven forbid, during a retiree's lifetime, if they needed some type of uh, healthcare crisis for critical, chronic, or terminal illness, Mm -hmm. their dollars have been leveraged. Another great strategy. Number three is pay attention to fixed annuity rates. What a fixed annuity is, is it's a contract that you take out with an insurance company for a set number of years. That could be two years, three years, five years. Those fixed annuity rates are tied much closer to the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. And so I've seen a dramatic increase in some of the rates that are out there. You know, you can get three or four or five percent as of, again, the beginning of uh, November 2022 with a lot of different insurance companies based upon the time that you set it up. Now, with annuities, you also have to pay attention to surrender charges. So again, if you're setting up an account for five years, you have to look and read what the contract provisions are on how you can access your fund you know, prior to five years. So mm-hmm. again, look at what your time frame is. Uh, number four is I-bonds. Last month, they set a record, a record number of sale at the U.S. Treasury bonds uh, for I-bond sales. And the reason being is because of the high interest rate. Uh, as of October, they were at 9.62%. Now, that rate does change here in November, and it changes every six months. But you know that is money that's directly from the Treasury Department. So in my opinion, it's safe as your money at the bank because it is directly from the Treasury Department. Um, You also have minimum hold periods of time. So again, you have to hold them for a period of one year. 
Uh, if you cash it out prior to five years, you can give back three months worth of interest. And then you can hold them up to 30 years. So again, something that can be part of a portfolio. Um, there's maximum amounts that you can put in some of these products. You want to pay attention to what those are too. But you know, if uh, you weren't one of the Americans that got to take advantage of the high interest rates and in I-bonds, that's something you can still do before the end of the year and make sure that you get your deposit in and get uh, some holiday extra cash. <laughs> the last category that I'd say is what is called a fixed index annuity. What a fixed index annuity is, is it's a type of an account that would allow you to participate when an underlying index goes back up in price, but it protects you against loss if and when the market goes down. You know, so here we are, we have a lot of investors that have witnessed the market go down. You know, it's down 20, 25, or 30 percent, depending upon what index and what day you look at it. We all know at some point the likelihood is that the market's going to come back. If you want to be able to be in a position to be able to rally back when that happens, yet, again, still have a line drawn in the sand that says if it doesn't happen, then something like a fixed index annuity could be a good option for you. So when you're looking at where should I put my money to cash, I think there's a lot of options that are available for you. And it's even more important for those people that are close to or in retirement time to make sure that their money gets up and goes to work for them every day. You think about it, you know, in retirement time, Every day you want to be a Saturday, right? So you want to exactly. be able to sleep in, enjoy the day. And if you're not going to get up and go to work, you have to make sure every single dollar you have is getting up and going to work for you every day. And a couple of these small changes can make a big, big difference in having more predictable income, higher returns on some of your liquid strategies that are out there. And again, it's a matter of knowing uh, how to put things in place. I also, I had a meeting just the other day with some folks, and that was one of the questions that they asked us is they were saying, you know, hey, we've got this account here, it's paying this, this one here that's paying that, this one here that's paying that. And then we started talking about, you know, what type of upcoming expenses do they have? You know, home repairs, new cars, what are they gonna need in the next couple of years that they know about? And then how much money do we need to have set aside for emergencies? And what we had found is we had found a strategy called a laddered approach made a lot of sense. And what a laddered approach means is that they were able to put some money in each of these buckets, so that way they had money at different time frames. They could have money in the Schwab money market account for their emergencies. That would take their interest savings up to almost, again, 3%. Yet, as a money market account, they can have access to it any time that they want. They could have the liquid life insurance, so they have the ability to participate in higher gains if the economy does well and the underlying index goes up, and pick up the life, critical chronic term illness coverage. They had to be able to take and shift some money. They were able to shift some of the lower interest annuities they had to higher interest annuities and lock in some rates to get the higher interest for the next five years able to fund those I bonds for their, you know, alternatives, and then last position some money for the long term growth and that fixed index annuity. So a bucket strategy is also another great approach for somebody that's looking on where should I put my cash money to work. When the team at America's Retirement Headquarters talks about diversification, they're not talking about, you know, owning multiple mutual funds or, or things like that, where uh, you look in them and, and it's really the same six or seven stocks repeated in a lot of those. They're talking about having multiple strategies, different levels of accessibility, different growth levels, different risk levels, uh, kind of like utilizing these these five things that Nolan talked about there and making it work for you. What's ultimately going to work best for you? And it's going to vary from person to person. Maybe you do have a good bit in you know in money market and you have less in I-bonds. By the way, Nolan, I don't know if you're aware of this, the, uh, the I-bond website actually went down for a little bit uh, at the end of October because of the popularity, because people know that the rates are going to change. Uh, so a lot of people were, were taking advantage of that. Um, but again, there is a lot of growth out there, and and that is something that you do give up if you go straight to cash. It's all about making your money work for you, and to see what's going to work best for you, the team in America's Retirement Headquarters, the Retirement Guys formula, they can explore all the options and create that plan for you. You just have to take that first step, give a call, and reach out to them, 419-794-3030, or go to the website, americasretirementheadquarters.com.